going on, friends? <laughs> it's a beautiful day. Beautiful day to be alive. Beautiful day here in Bangkok. I'm headed right back up here to Punawati BTS station. I'm gonna take that to a soap where I'll be able to get on the Sukhumvit MRT, the subway. And then I'm gonna take that to the Salon MRT station. And then I'm gonna go try to find the Roti girl. Basically, there's another YouTuber that's here in Bangkok and he's done some videos of a lady that has a little cart and she sells Roti. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't even really know what Roti is. I guess it's like an egg dip dough that's fried and then they put whatever type of toppings you want on it, whether it's strawberry or banana, Nutella, etc apparently there was an issue where the police came and made her move her cart and said she couldn't sell where she was at anymore and the place that they wanted her to move to the rent was higher and so she was real distraught on camera because she was basically saying you know i got a family to support and we sell this stuff at a very small profit now they're killing my profit by making me go somewhere that has higher rent all right we're we're close to finding the lady that sells the roti Poi, I think her name is. I just asked one of the vendors back there. They told me she's up one block. It was like she's on the next soy. So this here is the gentleman that was trying to help me out to find Miss Poi, the roadie lady. I don't know if that's how you say her name, but. All right, thank you. Thank you. I typed out and translate. I said, maybe she doesn't work on Sunday. And he was like, yeah, she does. All right, I think I found her. Let's go on over here and pay it forward. Okay, folks, so she um, she doesn't really speak any English. I typed out some stuff and translated. Asked her if she wanted to speak to the camera. I don't really think she wants to do that just because she doesn't really speak English. Um, but I asked her, is she staying here at this location or are the police going to make her move? And she basically said she's already moved. This is her new location. She just can't be out there anymore. So I'm gonna try to leave as detailed of a description as I can to where she's at. To find her food cart, you can either take the MRT subway to the Salon station, or you can take the BTS SkyTrain to the Saladang station. Then you'll want to make your way to this street here that shares its name with the Saladang station. And once you turn on that street, look for her food cart on the left. She makes, uh, roti i believe it's called there's all kinds she's got uh nutella strawberry i think she's got one that's like cinnamon and sugar you can kind of see how she does that there she'll flatten it out and then fry it put whatever you want on the inside if you want banana etc it's kind of cool how she does this thank you uh, how many people support for me, <laughs> for me. Uh, thank you very much i speak english you know it's okay thank All right, y'all. I didn't really have time to get my other mic to her. As you can see, she's very, very busy. I didn't want to interrupt her workflow. So I just put the camera on her. She was very grateful. She initially looked like she didn't even want to take it. But I, I told her, I said, look, there's people on my channel that have given me money and I'm just passing it on to you. So I just want to take a quick minute and thank the sponsors of today's video. This gentleman here and this gentleman here. $20 is about 655 baht. I gave her a thousand baht. In all honesty, I don't even know how much she told me this cost. Based on her prices and the listings in front of her cart, I don't think this could have been any more than about 40 or 50 baht. I think the, the other gentleman that, or actually, I don't even know if it's a guy, it's just another YouTube channel. I don't know who's behind the camera, but if I'm not mistaken, they say that she does have a PayPal. So if I can get that, I'll link all that in the description box below if you want to give her some help. She's just out, she's a hard worker trying to take care of her family. That's all she's doing. My folks always told me, you know, you work hard for everything that you have. You make sure that you pay all your bills on time. You, you set priorities for yourself. You take care of your family, etc. Put a little money back. But if you have extra, give some of it away. And my dad, he led by example. I seen him do it all the time. My mom always used to remind me that there's more happiness in giving than there is in receiving. And there really is. It's 
it's not about clout. It's not about, oh, I'm doing this to try to get views. Yes, getting views is a byproduct, but I do it because I just like to do it. And the way I look at it, if a bunch of people watch it and it ends up being something that people really like to see, then that's gonna generate more money for me to do stuff like this again. And it will just be a continuous cycle of giving. That's, that's the way I look at it. That, that's where I would love this channel to go. This is what I'm about, enjoying my life. And this is what I like to do.